Hi everybody, it's Julie and I have a Goodwill haul and then I want you to stay and see the uh, review of one of the products that I got at Goodwill. It's a cutter and it is uh, way cooler than what I thought it was going to be. So I picked up some yarn. Everything at this particular Goodwill was 50% off. And so they, they had their yarn regularly $1.99. And so that made this a dollar for the day. <laughs> um, but I thought it would be a good uh, color to put with my teal. Um, then there was this one. I thought it was really fun because it had great colors. And it has the, um, it's, it's like three pieces put together. And so it, and it has the little eyelashy looking stuff in it. So I liked it. It was a good color choice. They had some of the fun fur and regularly $5.29. And of course I got it for a dollar. You know, she had to make sure she pointed out that it was regularly $5.29. <laughs> um, so anyway, I got the black eyelash and I love this. This is regularly wherever it was bought was seven dollars but it has the gold flex in it so that will be really fun to use in um, to weave it along with some other yarns and things and then I got this set of um, the Hawaiian beads with the hibiscus on them and I'm hoping that I'll be able to use this with the um, pinup, the pinup girls, uh, things that I have. If not, it's, I like it. And I, that's a good, it was uh, $3.99, so $2 for all those beads. Um, I thought that would be fun. So there's that. And then, and I only had a few minutes. Um, the cover of this is embossed, or reverse embossed, actually, it's embossed. It says half hours with the best composers. I believe this is the one. Yeah, it's got somebody's name. Look at the beautiful handwriting. 1904. And um, so this book is actually falling apart. So I um, thought, you know, since it's falling apart and my other books that I got from my mom are intact... Oh, look at that. That's handwritten. That is really kind of cool. It's like... Very cool. So, um, I thought I might be able to just go ahead and, and let some of these pages go. Wandering Gypsy. So there's some great titles in here that I will be able to use. Um, possibly as well and um, their hardcover books are $2.99 and so it was $1.50 for this book so do pay attention people say oh you get the best stuff you have to know there are many times that I go and I get nothing or I just get a couple things from my house okay so it's not every time so now this one, um, this was purchased originally at Bed Bath & Beyond for $19.99. Hopefully they use their 20% off coupon. Then I went in probably summertime of last year because it was put out on 5-12-17. And I paid $3.99. Um, for this now my group my kids one of my sons and his girlfriend got me one of these as well but it was missing unfortunately it was missing the little blades okay so I have had this for almost a year I have never taken it out of the box I took it out today and I want you to know it is awesome so the, on this particular one, the light, actually, it had batteries in it. So the light even works. It is a cutter. So um, it has the band that you can pull down. So you're going to be able to measure. 
move my my basket that helps keep me in frame. I'm gonna move it. Okay. So my this one came with the instructions, which was awesome. And it came with six blades. So it has the lift here, it has the measure here, it has the light. This one is the deluxe. So it is the craft light cutter. And um, one of them said craft light cutter deluxe. So this, the deluxe one, the difference was it has an adapter. Okay, and I'm showing you this because if you come across this, at your Goodwill, and it has all six of the blades, and you're gonna pay a dollar ninety nine, and you love to paper craft. This is an amazing, amazing deal. Okay, so let's push this up. I guess we'll have to we'll have to pull out my cute little. This came with socks in it at Christmas, and it it's just so cute, and it matches my my black and pink of my craft room here okay so you get a zigzag blade you get a perforated blade you get a stamp blade a straight blade a fold blade and a wavy blade now I did not see a whole lot of difference between the um, which one was it the zigzag oh maybe I didn't do this well we're gonna try them all so I'm gonna show them to you okay so I have some copy paper here and you just go ahead and you lift the bar up we can put it put the bar down now right here is the cartridge little place so this is the perforated so you just go and you put it on the the track okay and then put the, the little thing down and then to cut you go ahead or on this particular case we're gonna perforate you push down and you just hold it down and go across okay so here we have a perforated edge so if you wanted to make a permission slip and then you needed to be able to pull this off there you have a perforated edge okay plus it makes really cool edging on your paper as well so and it's all lined up so that is the perforated blade bring it back pull it up pull it out you all have probably seen these at the, at your, if you frequent your thrift stores, you probably, you can see that there's actually a little mark right here and you just go down, travel it in, or travel in. Um, okay, so this is the straight blade. Again, you push it down, push across, and there you go. We, we cut a straight Piece. I know no big deal we've all got those but you know what if you can get another one for a dollar 99 or 399 uh, yeah it might be might be well worth it okay so there's that one okay so this is that's the straight we did that um this is the zigzag so the fatter side is where your blade is. It goes on the cutting side. Okay. We've got our paper ready. Go ahead and push down. Cut across. And there is our zigzag. Okay. So you have a, a really fun... Okay. And then you, without, you can pull it back as long as you're not pushing down on it. Okay. Now we'll pull this up. That there we go. Put that up there. So this one is the fold. Okay, and your words are going to be towards the the top, towards the light switch. Okay. So this is the fold. This 
so there it just makes it just goes in and it um what do they call that it just it just gives you a line for the fold You're, and it'll make it easier to fold things so instead of pulling out my giant um, Martha Stewart board instead of pulling out this I can just use the measurement and be able to make my fold lines so that's kind of exciting then so we've done perforated we've done straight this one is the wavy which I didn't see a lot of difference between the zigzag and the wavy okay but you got two different blades so push it down and look how fast it's way faster than the scissors and my thumb is going to be very happy so this is the zigzag and this is the wavy. I really don't see very much difference. This one's a little more pointy. But anyway, that's kind of fun. Oh, look at... <laughs> Apparently you can leave two. <laughs> so there's the fold. And there's that one. So the last one we have is the stamp. So you know how a stamp has that um, that edge on it. This is called the stamp edge. And we'll just cut it. And I didn't do it deep enough. You got to make sure that you um, are holding it down. Okay. Okay. So that is the stamp edge. You see it makes like a stamp edge but I can see I mean especially for the using the perforated and the fold and uh, and then any of these are going to just be fun to give you an edge on your paper be able to fold things I think that I think this is going to be awesome so anyway uh, cutter for $3.99 is a great price. It has backlight. And then you also, um, over here it tells you that your, your decorative line is going to be here. If you're cutting with the straight edge, it actually comes out a little further. So and there's the, you can see the blade right there. You just pop it up. There's the blade. So it's a rotary blade. It's using a rotary blade. That's the straight one. The perforated. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, I have this one and then I have the one that says deluxe. So yeah, look for these. Make sure that um, it has all of the the little cutters because like I said one of mine came without the cutters yet I'll be able to put it in service I'll just put one cutter on one and and the other cutter on the other one and be able to use them both so I hope you enjoyed this uh, little haul video and demonstration of this little rotary cutter that we got at the Goodwill and if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, put them down below. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to tell me what your favorite thing was in this haul. Have a great day. Thank you for being here. Bye.